we have the choice in every decision whether to eliminate a negative condition or to reach for plus one and create a positive state. Imagine the possibilities if all our decisions aimed our actions at what we do want, rolling our snowball down the hill to consistently create powerful plus one results. Imagine how that would change what we would see when we imagine what is possible. The most powerful determinant of what we achieve is what we aim for. Given the degree that reactivity guides most our decision-making, unfortunately, whether in our individual lives, in our businesses, in our community lives, we don't aim for the stars. Even more unfortunately, we're not even aiming at the zero point of completely eliminating that negative condition. Because with all that reactivity going on, we frequently feel like reaching for zero would be unrealistically daring. We wind up saying things like, there'll always be poverty, or there'll always be some people who are addicted to drugs, so the best we can do is reduce those numbers. So we look at a 30% reduction in poverty or a 50% reduction in addiction. In our personal lives, we hedge our bets. I need to lose 50 pounds, but if I lost 20, I'd be happy. What we're actually saying is that we're at minus five and we'd be totally good aiming for minus three. Now, do we need to solve our problems? Absolutely. Sometimes intervention is a necessary first step towards the end goal we want. We can only achieve the plus one of being healthy if we quit smoking. We can only have a healthy, equitable world if we eliminate poverty. The problem occurs when we see that intervention as the goal versus the first step. When the intervention, the war on terror, the war on drugs is the highest we aim, we're accepting defeat before we start simply by aiming at less than what is possible and calling that success. These decisions are 100% guaranteed to not create powerful results. And here is how I know they are 100% guaranteed to fall short because it is mathematically impossible to create something positive by eliminating something negative. Let me repeat that, and perhaps you might write it down and post it to your bulletin board or your refrigerator. It is mathematically impossible to create something positive by eliminating something negative. And when we take actions that cannot achieve the results we want, our frustration just keeps feeding those negative loops in our brains.